Hello guys, today let's try another simple React developer interview question where we are going to build a timer with start, pause, and reset functionality. So I have created a Ripple it uh, instance and first of all I'm going to create my three buttons a pause, start, and a reset button. And then I'm going to create two state values to handle the, to save the time and also to handle the start and the end values. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and give a thumbs up to this video. And on, when clicking the start button, I'm going to set the start value to true. And on pause click, I'm going to set the start value to fails. And on reset, I'm going to set my time to zero. All right, so then the core part. When someone click the start button, so I'm setting this uh, state value of the start to true. And then I'm going to create a use effect to listen to the changes of the start value. And whenever the start value changes, if it's true, I'm going to create a set interval instance and increment the time by one. And if it fails, I'm going to clear out the timer and set the time to see. And also, I'm going to write another clear interval function whenever we are unmounting this uh, component. So here, this is the return call. So whenever someone unmount the use effect, so this will get triggered and it will clear out the interval. And now we should listen to the uh, start variable here. So whenever the start value changes, our use effect will trigger again. Next, I'm going to display the time here. Let's run the REPL instance and have a look. This is very straightforward. What you have to do is you have to handle the use effect only using the start button. So on each of these instance, we can handle the required states just manipulating this uh, start uh, variable here. So if we start the timer, so it sets to true and the use effect triggered. And since the start is true, it will create an interval and this interval will increment the set time uh, on each one second here. And when we pause it, the st start value triggers to fails. Since the start value uh, changed, the use effect triggers again. And from this point, it goes to the else statement and it clears out the interval. And when we set reset, it will just set the time to zero in the main time uh, variable here. And also, if we want to stop the timer, what you have to do is you have to change this start value to fails and also you have to uh, reset the time here to zero. So if you are not familiar with, you know, writing multiple uh, call in multiple functions in line so you can learn it from now just create another button stop and make sure you wrap this with curly brackets here and then you can call another function here run and check when we stop it the set time changes to zero and also again the next function is called we are setting the set state to fails it will clear out the interval as well so if you love this kind of content make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and put a thumbs up to this video let's meet you guys with another awesome tutorial have a nice day